Ray is going to drown if I do not figure this out. Oh no, oh no. Starting to take on significant water. I'm really not sure what the best strategy is yet. Ray, what do you think? Ray's obsessed with the lake, but her favorite activity is going for paddleboard rides. I love having her on the board, but I think she deserves one of her own, made strictly out of Legos. But what's gonna be the best building strategy? What's the buoyancy force? What do I do if it starts leaking? What do we do if it tips over? The challenges on this project are endless, and the only way to find out the answers is for us to get started. We're gonna build you a boat! Are you excited? Here's my basic idea. Whoa, it's been a minute since I've said those words. My game plan is to build a hole that sits deep in the water, then put a piece on top of it where Ray will sit, and then from there, build it out as long as possible. We'll see if that works. In theory, I think it will, but I still need to play with the buoyancy force, and I think that could be pretty tricky. Buoyancy is beyond important. It keeps cruise ships afloat and hopefully Ray. So when an object enters water, there's two forces that act upon it. There's a downward force, gravity, and that's determined by the object's weight. Then there's an upward force, that's buoyancy, and that's determined by the weight of the water displaced by the object. An object will flow if the gravitational force is less than the buoyancy force. In other words, an object will float if it weighs less than the amount of water it displaces. This explains why a rock will sink while a huge boat will float. So my boat needs to displace the weight of the Legos and Ray to make sure it floats. Before we build further, we're gonna do a float test on this to see uh, if it floats and if I need to fix anything. Cause we're kinda to the point where there's no return. First float test, commence. Oh, that's golden. No tippage. I'm like pressing down on it. This is great. This is super good. We're in a super good place. I feel very shocked by this. I'm building something correctly for once in my life. This is great. But now comes for the really challenging part. Building the part that Ray's gonna actually sit in. Cause this is going underneath. And then I'm gonna put something on top and then we're gonna build from there. So now the real challenge begins. To keep the boat afloat, we're building in two sections. The bottom section is empty currently, and I've decided I'm gonna fill it with either sand or a rock because it's really important that this bottom section helps create stability. The top area is where Ray will sit, and I'm hoping that these are gonna snap into one another. But I quickly learned that these big building boards do not snap into one another. So we're gonna have to come up with another solution later. But for now, my goal is for the top to be deep enough and big enough that Ray feels secure and safe. I actually had some really big help from Riley. He has a YouTube channel called Brick Science and I seriously couldn't have done it without him. He is the one that suggested a lot. And when I say a lot, I mean a lot of saran wrap. Before we get this in the water, uh, I need to show it to Ray to make sure she approves of it. And if she doesn't, She's just gonna have to sit in it anyway. I'm gonna bribe her with treats. Do you like that idea, Ray? Come in. Good girl. Good little tap. She tapped her foot in. Get those back feet in. She's in the boat. Good girl. Ray, in. Wow. 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 Good girl. Good. Much good dog. Thank you. I love you. Do you like it? All right, we got Grace situated. Now, I just gotta connect this top part to the bottom part. She's sitting in front of the camera looking around like, what? I couldn't decide between sand and rock, but I went with the rock because I was worried that the sand would slosh around. The next problem that we ran into was that the bottom would not snap into the top. And the only solution we could come up with was double-sided tape. Then my dad and I secured that top and bottom portion of the boat together. And then I think we were ready for a float test. I don't even know if it's gonna float, okay. We got float. Maybe once we get Ray in there, it'll be better. We did put the base on a little crooked, so this isn't shocking. That's better. Okay, it's time. Ray? Come on, 
good. In. That's good. That's okay. In. Good girl. Sit, sit. Go. I cannot believe it's working. Hey. Good job. <laughs> You're doing it. You're piloting your own boat. This thing's sturdy. There's no water inside. Maybe a little bit, but you know. You can like see underneath like how good the boat's doing. It's not taking on any water. Be free! <laughs> oh, took on some water there, Ray. Shout out to my awesome family for helping me finish this video. If you think this was crazy, you should see how we made cement boats float. That one was really wild. Until the next one, try something new and stay random. <laughs> you did good, Ray, you did good.